M0 FXP, welcome back to the channel. So I'm on my 7610, as you can see here. And we're going to have a go at WSJTX, which we have have got running. And we've had one contact and then we failed a bit. I feel like just some of our settings need to be tweaked. But the main thing is that we've got this receiving and transmitting. So I'm going to show you all my settings i'm connected let me show you the usb cable connection first so on the back of the radio you've got two connectors and i've connected le next to the one that's number d number one the black one there's actually two there but i've used that one okay you can see it there black now the driver did automatically download so but you can i'll put a link in the description so you can download the driver so Go here to the Windows Squares, right click Device Manager and find uh, when the cable's plugged into your PC. Double click Ports and I've got two come up. Silicon Labs here, it says here 38 and 40. So 38, the top one is the one that works for me. If I right click and go Properties, and then port settings, it's on 19200, so I haven't changed that. Okay, so that's our port, we know what number that is. So then if we look at the actual radio, and I've kept this very simple, so what I did, I factory reset the radio. Uh, so, I, and then I, did, I only made minor changes. So, if we're gonna go, we selected USB, so if you just tap the screen in the normal way, you'd get LSB, and then tap again USB and I hold your finger on it tap it hold your finger on data two is actually three and then it goes back to USB normal so I went for the number one okay and remember the, the, the device on the back was numbered number one as well then I went into menu set I know there's some good recommendations here uh, I went to now I would back up your configuration to your SD card if I was you uh, just go there and just save okay make a new file if you want and then enter and it will save just in case you muck things up okay so um, yeah that's what well, I that was quick wasn't it so anyway, back to menu then set here go to connectors and then if you go to AC, AF output, and I've not really changed anything really, but many people do, they play around with these outputs. See the 50% there? I've no, I haven't changed the bit where it says main and all that. I haven't changed any of that. Mod input, now that, that one I did change. Look, data, mod, mic, and USB. So when you tap it, Remember to scroll the wheel because there's quite a few selections there. Interesting that we've got the LAN. I never use the LAN, but look, mic USB is the one that I selected. I didn't select number two and three because we're not plugged into those cables, are we? So I just did mic USB. And if you want, you know, if you're really worried, just um, do that one, mic USB, I suppose. Right, okay. And then... I noticed that you can adjust, just tinkering if you go connectors, USB output. You've got a lot of adjustments there that you can make. And you can make adjustments as well. If you right click on your sound card, so go right click at sound settings, you get your sound window open up. And you can go in here and look, there's the speakers, USB codec. I'll show you the settings in my in my device and then here where is it uh, there is a USB codec so you've got sliders here that you can play with as well to fine-tune things the idea is that when you're transmitting that your ALC is low okay now if you've got this set up completely wrong when you go to transmit so if I just go to before I transmit I'm just going to do the tune now I've set the power to 10 watts okay 10 watts I've tuned the radio already, uh, you know, antenna tune. I'm using just a long wire at the moment. And uh, so if you go, if you press tune, actually let's show you the settings first. So the settings in WSJTX are file, then settings. 
And, you know, FTA it is a bit faffy, to be honest. You are faffing quite a bit. But once you get it, it's good. So general, we've got on the general tab, we've got M0FXB, IO, I8 M1 is my region. I haven't changed any of this. There's a couple of settings I added for grid tracker, but you'll I'll do that separate. Radio, ICOM 7610. I didn't change any of this, but I did put in 19200 board rate. On the radio, I just left it as auto. And there's your COM38, okay? And then as soon as I clicked, okay, now you can press test cat. You see it flashing there. I didn't need to do any of that. I just... Um, just started using it but let me just go file settings audio and look on in the audio tab see it here audio tab these were already ticked and i just selected microphone usb 2 audio codec there and speaker you can't really you can set other things but i all the other things i know what they are and they're nothing to do with WS data. Then I just clicked OK, and as soon as I did that, the radio sort of clicked. I could tell that the radio was was communicating a bit. So now, if I just do uh, now do the tune thing, you'll see that the radio goes into transmit. Now, see here where you've got a signal transmitting. Yeah, um, I know that I'm transmitting. Okay, now. Uh, the fine tune settings, let me just stop that a minute. The fine tune settings will matter if you want to make sure you get some some decent contacts. Because if you're giving out too much, if you're splattering across, it's not going to be good for anyone else. Uh, and um, so you need to learn those settings. So here you look for a gap. See that the, there's a lot of activity there. So I'm looking for a little gap next to that. And then you right click and put set RXTX. That's what I did right next to it like so um let's bring this down just to here so that I just want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything and then I just clicked enable enable tx I've got the decode here enable enable tx now if I've forgotten any settings let me know and it just starts doing its thing okay as you can see you've got the green slider at the bottom and the idea is you want your alc quite low i used to use this little power slider just here make sure you can see this see this little power slider i would move that up and down on my other radios um and when it goes and transmit you can see the signal meter on the radio my alc if anything is a bit high so let me just show you that see it's a bit up there uh, we want that a bit lower uh, and that's when you're playing around with these different settings so I, I don't really hardly ever use FT8 but someone asked me can you do it on your 7610 so I just thought I'd tinker it's gone into transmit of course you can just test this with tune and if I move down the little power thing a little bit um, see that Changes the ALC a bit, not really. And of course, you can go into those speaker settings and change that. There's a few settings and there's a lot of videos recommending what you do. But when you get it right, you all these will come. You'll suddenly have lots of contacts. I'm just double clicking one of these stations here. Look, look, CQDLOFO, double click there. And if my settings were good, that would very quickly go red um, and uh, we'd get contact. So what I'd like someone to do, if possible, is send me the ideal settings for, let me just minimize this down so you can see what's going on, for um, the 7610. And uh, keep it simple, please. I'll get those settings in there and see if we can actually just going to click enable contact again have a contact but it you know it is fascinating isn't it i've got grid tracker let me just start it for fun again haven't used it for a while so there's grid tracker which i've downloaded let's see if that opens up
be nice to get another i did get one contact so i must have done something right then the other thing i could try and do is just you do it by usb and then it uses the mic doesn't it Just clicking a few people. Thanks for watching my channel. Always learning, as always. Lovely radio. Give us a red line. We want one red line at least. Come on. That would be nice. Oh, the other thing I did was download a, a program called Time TimeNet. Sort of synchronize, make sure the time's right on your PC. So I did download that and add that. Thanks for watching my channel and I'm um, looking forward to those tips 7-3. What? Always new information there that I'm, I ain't got a clue what it is. Cheers 7-3.